To create a countersink for our rivets in thicker materials, such as 63 thousandths and thicker, we cannot dimple, but rather machine countersink. This process actually removes metal with a cutter to make room for the rivet, as opposed to dimpling where the metal is simply deformed. Here's what our countersinking tool looks like. It is driven by our drill. Notice at the tip of the cutter is a pilot which we will insert into the rivet hole to be countersunk. We need to have a different cutter so that the pilot matches each of the popular size rivet holes we drill. The cutter will spin and cut the metal at a 100 degree angle which coincides with the angle of the rivet heads. The cage provides an adjustment to make sure we don't cut too far or too little into the metal by limiting the depth of the cutter. Twisting the adjustment in one direction allows the cutter to protrude a little bit farther, the other direction a little bit less. Let's demonstrate how this works. We first drill and deburr the hole. Assuming we have properly adjusted our cutter, all we need to do is spin the drill and press all the way down. It is very easy to cut too little or too far into the metal, which will adversely affect the fit of the rivet. Cutting too little will not allow the rivet to seat flush. Cutting too far provides for a sloppy fit. Experimentation is essential in getting just the right cutter depth.